dear students welcome back to the video lecture number of uh, 11 water chemistry moving to the next concept of uh, the chapter is the desalination of water by reverse osmosis technique so what do you mean by desalination first the process of removing common salt means sodium chloride from water is known as desalination the water containing dissolved salts which, uh, which is a salty or brackish taste is called brackish water. Depending upon the quantity of dissolved solids present in the water are graded into three types. The fresh water, brackish water and sea water. So what do you know by fresh water here? If the water contains less than 1000 ppm of dissolved solids that is called fresh water. Then what is brackish water? So brackish water it contains more than 1000 ppm of TDS and less than 35,000 ppm of TDS or dissolved solids. Then third one, so what do you mean by sea water means? Sea water is one where the concentration of total dissolved solids is more than 35,000 ppm. As you know that the fresh water availability is very less. Hence, we need to use the water of sea or brackish water to make it to convert potable form or drinking form by the technique water can use is called the desalination of water. So sea water and brackish water can be made available for the drinking water through the desalination process. And desalination is carried out either by the reverse osmosis or by the electrodialysis process. Before to proceed for the desalination uh, os reverse osmosis process, we must know what is the meaning of osmosis and reverse osmosis. If two solutions of different concentrations are separated by semi permeable membrane, which is permeable to the smaller solvent molecules but not to the larger solute molecules. Hence, how we can define the osmosis? Solvent will tend to diffuse across the membrane from the less concentrated to the more concentrated solution through the semi permeable membrane. This process what can say the osmosis. Here let us see the diagram what I mentioned about the osmosis and reverse osmosis. Here you can see that low concentrated water and high concentrated water both are separated by the semi permeable membrane. If the solvent molecules are moving from lower concentration solution to the higher concentration solution through the semi permeable membrane that phenomenon is called the osmosis. Suppose if the same process is made to reverse, so how it is? If the pressure is applied on the concentrated solution side, if the solvent molecules if they are tend to move across the membrane from higher concentration solution to the lower concentration solution through the semi permeable membrane that is called the reverse osmosis. Now how we can define technically the definition of reverse osmosis. So reverse osmosis is the process in which the pressure greater than the osmotic pressure is applied on higher concentration side of the membrane. The flow of solvent move from concentrated side to the dilute side across the membrane. Or it is also defined like this. Reverse osmosis is a membrane suppression process for removing the solvent from a solution in, so in which solvent will flow from the concentrated to the dilute solution sign. Let us discuss about the reverse osmosis process. As you know that osmosis is the phenomenon by the virtue of which the solvent takes place movement from the region of lower concentration solution to the higher concentration solution side when two solutions are made different uh, differentiated 
or separated by the semi permeable membrane here in this reverse osmosis process what you can observe that in the reverse osmosis process you have to apply the pressure on what side higher concentration solution side okay so as a result the flow of solvent molecules are taking place from higher concentration solution side to the lower concentration side through the semi permeable membrane here i have shown the reverse osmosis process by taking what uh, the two cells here uh, I, I the two cell diagrams have been drawn you can draw any one cell diagram for your convenient but better the drawing of this is very easy and it's more convenient to explain the reverse osmosis cell here what can observe that we have the sea water and fresh water both waters are separated by the semi permeable membrane and you have to apply the pressure at what side concentrated water side i mean to say sea water side as a result the solvent molecules present in the sea water side tend to move from what side from uh, sea water side to the fewer water side that process what you can say reverse osmosis so here reverse osmosis cell diagram is mentioned here and here what you can observe in this reverse osmosis cell this cell has the two parts two compartment so bottom compartment is meant for the pure water side and top compartment is meant for the sea water side and you have the semi uh, piston where the pressure can be applied on the sea water side both waters sea water and uh, pure waters are separated by the semi permeable membrane if the pressure is applied on what side sea water side more than the osmotic pressure then what happens the water molecules from the sea water side passes through the uh, pure water side through the semi permeable membrane and you can drain out the pure water from the cell from the bottom of the compartment now let us discuss about the reverse osmosis technique how i explained in the previous diagram in this method pure water is separated from the salt water the pressure around 15 to 40 kg per cm square is applied for separating the water from its contaminants the membranes are used the semi permeable membranes are used either you can use cellulose acetate or polymethyl meta acrylate or you can use polyamide polymers any one this process is also known as super or hyper filtration the pressure must be high enough to exceed the pressure of osmotic pressure that may cause the reverse osmosis as a result the flow of water is taking place from higher concentration solution side to the lower concentration solution side through the semi permeable membrane so the membrane is highly permeable to the only water but it is it is essence it is what essentially impermeable to the the solutes present in the water as pure water crosses the membrane the concentration of dissolved sol sol solids are increases in sea water side as a consequence the osmotic pressure has to be increases more and more when a point is reached at which applied pressure is no longer able to overcome the osmotic pressure no further flow of product of water is occurring then the membrane process process becomes what stained or you can say precipitated and once again the membrane is what made to clean for the further filtration step now what are the advantages of reverse osmosis so reverse osmosis is the simple and reliable technique and it has a low capital and operating expenses the lifetime of semi permeable membranes is about 2 years and it can be easily replaced within the few minutes thereby nearly un un interrupted water supply can be provided by the reverse osmosis technique with this the concept of water chemistry is completed thank you one and all